the first issue to start with me as a as a kid, you know. Back in the time uh, in Brazil, all the kids was going to to swimming or to football. I was going to the academy. And he saw so many kids uh, playing in the street, and he was he was opening the kids' uh, class in his academy. So he talked with my father and invited me to the to the enjoy the program. But my father got get excited because it was an opportunity to keep me outside for the street inside the academy. And my father was he was working hard in the building, and he always. He always would try to find something that keep me outside from the city. He don't want me to learn or get problem, trouble in the street. So the academy for my parents means as an education, part of education. I try to stop, to quit because I want to surf in. I want to play fo uh, football, I want to hang out with friends. Uh, my mother and my father say, no, you can do whatever you want as long as you go in the academy. When you miss your training, you, do, you don't you don't leave the house, you're going to stay home. Uh, we were a poor family, I didn't have like so many opportunities to do something outside. So everything was hard for, for I saw my, my, my father, how hard he's working to give, to give us something, my mother was working on also to, to give us something extra. And, and I was the old brother, so I, all the pressure was on me to, okay, you have to be the example for your brothers. So Leandro and Ricardo, they was watching me and looking at me to say, okay, whatever Leo's gonna do, I will do it. So then my parents put so much pressure, no, you have to stay in the academy, you have to be behave, you have to be an example for your brothers. The first class, the first week, I did the Mike Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because I was, me and my parents, we was all oh my god, like with uh, martial arts, but uh, Kung Fu, Bruce Lee's movies, was, uh, was like the, the best to us. Every day I was watching the movies. And when I jumped in the academy, I thought it was Bruce Lee. I, was, I thought I was gonna throw some punches in the kids. And I went there, I saw something rapping. You know, then I, I get disappointed and say, oh, yeah, that is nothing that I would expect. But it was funny because one girl, she kicked my ass in the academy. I said, oh, no, my, no, I can't believe it. I'm going to come back. I'm going to kick her ass. When I kick her ass, I give up. So next day, she kicked my ass again. Then every single day, she, she was kicking my ass until I, I loved the sport. Then, then I get involved so much. And I said, no, no, I want to train, it's nice, it's fun. And then when I get an adult to get more, uh, more competition, more responsibilities, and uh, I was, then I start to, to work with Jiu Jitsu. Then I moved to, 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 to the, then, then Jiu Jitsu gave me uh, everything in my life. Give me opportunity to 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 have like a, something that I can work for. Give me opportunity to travel, you know, uh, meet different people, different uh, culture, and, and I love Jiu Jitsu because that gives me opportunity, give all my family opportunity, and something that I, we we don't think we go to the work, wake up and go to work. We think we're just like we're having fun. What are we doing? So there's a nice lifestyle. And what and today when I when I think about Jiu Jitsu, you know, and everything what Checkmate did to me, then I, and I, I think like Jiu Jitsu give me balance. If you're too aggressive, put you calm down. Say look. Always gonna find somebody who can kick your ass. So take it easy, behave, you know, and make friends. Don't come here and compete against everybody because everybody's your friend.
Like it's not about like a only like a martial arts, only like a who who's the best at martial arts. It's about it's just about having fun, have friends. And I think that's the jujitsu, you know, give us like a lifestyle that we enjoy with friends. And it's a big community that you can you enjoy and you take the, these martial arts outside from the academy. You have friends, you have people who are gonna support you, uh, you make real friends as uh, outside of the academy, not just the academy that you enjoy, train yourself, go home and that's it. No, you, you take the, the, the friendship, you take the, what you build in the academy, the gym, you take outside. So that's, I think that that's what makes our groups be so big. In different countries, different cultures, but people doesn't know, doesn't care about what's your religion, what's the color, what's what you do think, because everybody knows when you're there, you know everybody, everybody knows like you think you're the same, same idea, everybody has the same folks, everybody think the same religion, everybody has the same thing, and that's what you talk about. Brazilians. They put like his soul in the martial arts and if people just don't go to the academy, they're in martial arts and go home, but stay together. Because people feel as a big family. You have your family as a team and you have a big family as a BGJ community. Okay, so once you're here, you grab your lapel and you start squeezing. Just stretch. Jiu-Jitsu take a different perfumes, okay. you know, you can, everybody who enjoy the academy Jiu-Jitsu today, they not real, they don't go to the academy and say, okay, I want to be a superstar training company. So, more, it's not everybody look at the academy to this. People in the academy see how hard you put yourself in diet, in training, conditional training, in technique, in spine training. And people share all experience about what you left in your side. So like you sometimes you left family, you left like work, you left a lot of things in your side for you put time in the match. And Jujitsu about this, there are no lines on the match. As long as you be there, it should be as much there as you learn. But you can be there three, four days on a week. But when you go there, if you really, you know, uh, be on the mat, learning, if you put yourself to work hard to, to learn, you're going to be good. doesn't matter because the, the time you spend on the mat, doing the, the things right, this gives you, like, there's no gift. People have gift, okay, but uh, the de determination, people who put yourself every day, in the learning, that's the, those people who's going to gonna be something. Always you find something to learn, you know, and also I understand that we have a very good grapplers in the academy and I have good grapplers in the competition. It's totally different training, it's totally different uh, strategy to compete. It's different timing on when you're on top, when you're at the bottom, different submissions, it's a strategy. Competition is give you like a, make you feel, you know, like nervous, make you feel like a, it's it challenging you, you know, to have like experience, to see how you handle with, you know. Most of the time when you start, you compete about yourself. How, how nervous you are, how can you control yourself, how, because everybody will be nervous, you know, so everybody will be nervous, and this is normal. And they feel like, a, how you handle with your fears, how you take care of yourself when you're nervous, how you can you control and keep your strategy. And this you, take, you can take this kind of experience for your life because your life is going to be like this. You're going to have a good situation, bad situation, some situation in your life, some decisions you're going to have. You'll be nervous you know, to, to make some meeting or you're going to be nervous to take decisions. And you're okay, so what, what you gonna do? You cannot be in panic and just choose anyone. You have to calm down, think in the, in the, in the strategy, think the, what's the good thing, the bad thing for one decision, good thing, bad thing, the other decision, take the best decision, you know? And Jiu Jitsu, you, you do this every single day. 
any, any situation you are, you have different options. If you take the wrong option, you're gonna tap. It's like a training academy with more responsibility. It's kind of like a test, it's like, like an upgrade. You're gonna find the best for you. You're gonna find yourself the best strategy for yourself beat anyone as a matter of fact. You always have a strategy to be there. And that's why the name is Checkmate, because all the time people compare Jiu Jitsu as chess with the body. And it's really true because it's every time you're moving, you're gonna move in piece by piece by piece. It's kind of move, move by move. And you always try to check, 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 then you escape keep in check until somebody get a check man so it's very intelligent because it's only one position only one second you can make one position can it's a shortcut to to win today I play the chess so I take my piece so I take my guys and I you know move my piece I bought you I like to you know boy this and I come on yes you can do it I like to compete, but uh, I love to coach, you know, and when I compete, I cannot be the coach I am. Uh, today, I, I have more happiness when I when I coach my guys, when I go, when I go in the academy, see the guy training. You know. I like to go to every single competitor, see his eyes, who's, you know, who's when I compete. You know, like, it's, it's fun to, to see how people come and turn to a big good competitor. I like to be the father who, okay, let's go son, bah, now it's your turn. I used to do this a lot. I think it's the normal life, so I was a competitor, now I'm, I, I, I'm the coach. And I have more fun being the coach than competing. It's stop. That's the place I'm gonna stop, because I want to stretch his arm with the tail. If he wrote to get out, I just follow him and let's close. Yeah, I think the competitions today, <clears throat> I think Jiu Jitsu, the good thing also with Jiu Jitsu, they change a lot. Every single competition, something new, some position, some, uh, some details. The rules change every single year, the rules is different. So the competitors, they learn how to win the competition, not how to. They, today people train in Jiu Jitsu to win competition, not to be the best Jiu Jitsu player. Before, back in my time, they don't care about uh, rules, you know, people don't care about rules. We know sweep, mount is a point, but you, actually people don't care about points, it's about submissions, you know, it's about you be the best fighter. The, the best fighter for us is like, in my time, was not to be uh, who win the competition, who make a strategy to stole and win the last year. So this is something new, you know. My time, I don't care if I win or lose. I have to, I have to show what can I do, you know. And and I think people forget this a little bit. The way you fight, it's more important than the, the victories that you have. Because people forget, every year you're gonna have uh, somebody win the competition. If I ask you, uh, who, who was in the podium uh, in, the, in the last uh, three World Cup in, in some competition, you, you're gonna probably you're gonna forget. Maybe you remember the last one. You don't remember the next one. So you can be confused about the name. But if I ask you, okay, give me five names for each division. You're gonna choose the guys who who have you excited to fight. You don't choose the guy just me, but you choose people. You know, fight with a nice style that you like. Or people just jump in the mat 
try to beat yourself in submission. Of course, they worry sometimes about points, but uh, you know, nobody was stolen, nobody was to hold it there because they they know this gives gives them a reputation that they don't want. But today, people f compete today with a book inside the inside the key. So they okay. 30 seconds, uh, 3 seconds to, to advantage, okay, 3 seconds and he sit down. Most popular is like 50-50 guard, beating ball guard. But you cannot watch this for 5 minutes, it's so boring. You cannot watch this in the... In. Okay, it's very good to win competition because you stole, you hold the guys, then you make advantage, then you make a point and win the competition. But come on. I, I bet you don't, you, don't, you don't watch again. You can watch one time, but you don't watch again. Like YouTube, or you watch at home. Because it's not exciting. Pushes and Rodolfo, two big guys. In my time, big guys make body fight because both guys just want to push each other, push himself and try something that nobody wants to put play guard. And, and the guys from Feather, uh, like Feather, those guys was the best fight. Because both guys were fighting so strong. Blah, blah, blah. So it used to be exciting fight. So today, those guys make boring fight. And the guys in the heavyweight make the best fight. But Pushish and Rodolfo, they fight, they, they don't stop. They don't care about rules, they don't care about points. They want, you know, they want to show why they are they're the best. Just pull guard, stand up, taking down, sweep, mount, always try some missions.